Welcome back to Deathmark. We are... Well... We Alone. Got, we got Hito with us, but... Mary's still not there. We don't have a guide. It's making things a lot more difficult. <laughs> yes? Doesn't it feel like she's being sarcastic when she's saying that? Especially with that tone of face. <laughs> Why don't we get some fresh air? Nah, we need to stay in here. And right, and who knows when we'll die, because... We also have no gauge on knowing when we're going to die next, because Mary could sense these things, we can't. We're really, really running blind here. Things are getting pretty serious here. We're running out of food, too. It's just... You're in denial! Things are not... Huh. Things are looking really grim here. We need to make a last-ditch effort in this chapter here. I don't think we could last another day without Mary's guidance. Or at least something to guide us. Welcome to Breaking Point. Oh, thank God there's another Mark Bearer. Uh. Yeah. What's up, Stretch? Working late nights? <laughs> I'm glad you know my name. Ooh. Yasuoka told me. Ooh. Okay. So thankfully, our one person that could get us the one lead gave us a one lead. This is Suji Daimon! Uh, you're a photographer. Uh... You're a thief. You're a baseball player. Stethoscope. He's a coal miner! Oh. You're an idol. He's got a Mark II, of you're, course. You're very nonchalant, and you know a lot. Wait, which left? His left or my left? The left. So, communism? He's got a sickle and cross star, or whatever. Hammer and sickle, that's it. <laughs> no, no, he's not your death mark. Is our death mark. If you die, we die. Uh, hmm. It's accurate, right? Hmm. Oh. That sounds like a link to me. What a lead. Turns out we've found some ancient mark. So the mark is... We only, we only started getting rumors for this mark about a month ago, but this is a 50-year-old secret we're dealing with. So are you telling me the Japanese came up with a way to kill us American scum by throwing death marks on people? No, <laughs> you're gonna love everything they did! <laughs> they did really bad shit. Hey, let's go ahead and recruit ghosts! They'll never see it coming! It's bad. Like you, know, you know what the Germans were doing to the Jewish people in their in their camps? Oh yeah, the Japanese had shit like that too. And so did we! We just love putting people in camps. Drop of the humor alert. Oh, sorry, I was on a ramble. Uh, uh I don't know yet. Well, I've already been through four nights of this shit. Sorry, four marks of this shit. I'm starting to look like him now. 
Ha ha! Was I right? I don't know how the fuck he can deal with that, uh... Strand he's got there, but the Cannon Soldier! There's something linking them together. So, we accidentally summoned a demon, had to seal him away 50 years ago, but SOMEBODY had to mess with Buddha statues. There's an army shelter. Much in the same way that Miss Zhu was like all about, you know, Buddha and Bodhisattva and all that. The Divine Wrath. So... Wait a minute. Maybe this cannon soldier is the origin of the Divine Wrath. I mean, think about it. That fucking statue gets moved or, or destroyed or whatever. The divine wrath is made, and so it's that's basically that's about all we got to go on right now, I guess. Let's head back to the lab. We're gonna head to the 13th Army Engineering Lab in that army shelter where we were at earlier, <laughs> and take on the cannon soldier. And we're gonna take this dying man with us as well. Uh, he exercises a ghost for me. Ooh. So people who were alive 50 years ago were probably all cursed. She was looking into it, but Sukawa stole it. And then she went down there, and something happened, and she came back as Sukawa and started holding up in the elementary school. Mmm, oh. Inhumane experiments. What's happening in there? No, that's a pretty scientific line of re that's, that's very logical. I mean, we gotta explain the monster part. That's where the hypothesis comes in, but we can we can take the scientific experiment. Okay, so, observation. Uh, she's a fucking monster. Uh, research. Well, the entire fourth chapter was research. We just, we just exterminate her. Uh, hypothesis. If we go down to the shelter, then we'll find something that made her turn this way. And now we're about to enact the experiment. Ourselves. Like, experiment on the experimentation. You know, what they... What hey, look happened. at that. Oh. Another connection. Well, there you go! It's almost as if doing inhumane experiments back in the day fuck the entire future. <laughs> hey. So what am I to all of these marks? Yeah, this is a fictional story, but war crimes are real, folks. Hi, I'm Dr. Exposition. Yeah, he just came in and said, "Here, hey, go here next. That's where you're probably gonna end this whole thing. Hey, that's how we work. So odds are, we take care of this demon, then the mark is gone. Right? Right. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Depends on what the DLC has. Well, the DLC came after the game, so, I mean, the game is over after this. The DLC is just an afterthought. So, mm. something's gotta end here. Let's head on there to that shelter. I theorize the sixth chapter is also supposed to tie into the new game coming. Well, yeah, it's already out, I think. So it probably is. <laughs> is literally start chapter to be continued in next game. Oh man, that's some nice DLC somebody had to pay for. See, I kind of almost don't want an explanation for all the ghosts, but then again, this game does have to wrap up eventually. Well, yeah, but it can leave a thread. I mean, if they can squeeze another Saw movie out, we can get uh, to some continuation to this story. Okay. Cool. Well. So, so what is this new guy? What's his title? He is the Sickly Doctor. Sickly Doctor. Huh. Well, do we want to keep the scientist or the doctor? Well, we'll go with Shuji for this one. Okay. We'll just take him with us for this, for uh, consistency's sake. We'll go ahead and make our way to the South Alley!
Oh. I think it's just a window. Someone's sending me signals. Don't. Go. Huh. Here. Huh. Oh, it's Morse code. What? Oh, okay. Anyway, down the manhole here. That's where it only has one. Hmm. We, again, we don't need the special tools. We can just hop on down in there. Sewer employees. Oh, yes. The corrupted people in the sewer department. We'll hide all of our shelters down in the sewer. They'll never find it. Well, the Kujas might not be interested in all this either. Eee. <laughs> what if... What if our original name was... The Real Cujo? <laughs> So this feels like we're going to get a lot of answers about the Cujos, about the Mark, about the cause of all this, about the missing headless Buddha statues. Maybe, Perfect. Maybe about the shrine it is itself. Hmm. So maybe, uh, when Zukawa came down here, she already had the, uh, she saved us the trouble of uh, having to open it, but, oh god. She used her pig shark face. This is before she got the pig shark face. Damn though. it. She went down there, and then became the pig shark uh, face. Oh, that makes more sense. So we're gonna go down there and find out why she became the pig shark face. And there's just a dark carnival here. Do, 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 do. Become a freak show today! Roll the dice and see which two <laughs> animals get smashed onto no! your face. So now we take on the cannon soldier. Uh, you. What's the worst that could happen, huh? <laughs> A, yeah. a man who is literally a cannon on feet. You hear that? Chanting. Huh. <coughs> it's a Japanese army song. And remember, Japan doesn't even have an army anymore, so these guys are like, Tora, Tora, Tora! You know, Kamikaze! Banzai! Bullshit, you know? Fantastic. Mm. Okay, well, this place is freaking huge place to start is to go forward. Oh. Uh, something missing there. <laughs> A painting, maybe? For the motherland. Uh, yeah, the this nice... The nice right angles there. Yeah, at least you don't have to... You know, dance around. It's like, yeah, it's obvious what it is. Hmm. I'm just thinking it was a poster saying, please keep walls clean. No blood. <laughs> and then, oh. Oh, it? irony. What do we do? We take it down. That makes it legal. Feel. Let's keep going. Alright, our first intersection. Eh. Oh! Anyway. What the? That was something. Let's go this away.
Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Uh, keep going? Mm, all right, we'll keep going. Go. Oh, now. great. What did I just get us into? Uh. Are these mines? It's Morse code. Oh, that's Morse code. Uh. Get out. Get out. Oh, hell if I know. So. Now, how do you figure that one out? I don't know Morse code. Point to my soul. Uh, what's my soul? In my heart. Uh, no, it's in my head. Fair. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. I assume there's something we need to pick up later that tells us how to solve that puzzle. It's either that or we just have a nice brick wall where you just die. Hmm. We just hear chanting. That makes it really safe. No, we just have another bulletin board missing from there with a blood splatter on it as well. Well, we can go forward now. So that wasn't for nothing. Uh. <laughs> Somebody used that corpse up there to play the ribcage as if it were a xylophone. No. Experimentation. Oh, there it is. Oh, that? Yeah. Hmm. Yep, he's dead. This is definitely a not alive thing. Probably just like a pocket knife. Somebody just. Oh. He just took a tiny little knife and severed somebody's spine! Yeah, what kind of fun stuff will we find in here? Let's see. Mm hmm. Did I just hear a chainsaw? Lovely. Let's check here. Ooh, bells to a handle, and a notebook with a black cover. Disposal vat. Oh. That doesn't sound great. Ah. Human sacrifices. Dime. So we got the Kagura Suzu bells and the disposal vat management record. Spiritualization? Like, they, they were trying to enchant a Buddha statue but accidentally killed everyone. Oops! It's, it's like they're trying to use the power of God and anime to win the war. God, is this an Atlas game? No. It's an Axis game. It's an experience game. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Eh, fuck it, though. Oh, I used to work here. We've been here before. What? We've been here before. Ah! What? No. Oh. 
But we barely started! It didn't like you getting too close to the truth. Oh, come on! Ha! Ah! Wait, what? Ha! Ah! As I thought, it's here. So Imagine's like, oh god, what's happening? I have no idea what's going on! Check the disposal vat. It must be behind that wall. Felt weird when standing in front of that wall. Ah, oh, help somebody! What? I think that the, who we were before we lost our memories was pretty significant, wouldn't you say? It's like we're the bad guy. Are we talking to ourselves? <laughs> We've gone insane! No! On the plus side, we found a cure for schizophrenia. On the, uh, on the negative side, you'll die at dawn. But hey! At least you're not schizophrenic anymore! Tap the wall. Find that. Well. Still got some things in here. Hmm, microwave for rats. Then research records and a short sword. Experiment, rank C. This is Divin Protection. The Asura statue. Alright, Rage Shrine. Ah. Hmm. So, these guys were the ones who stole the sh the uh, Buddha statue from the shrine, and therefore created the hateful Buddha. Oh. Things are starting to come together now, aren't they? They are. Let's see. Nothing in there, though. Oh, except a worn out talisman! Oh, hey! Yay! Alright, we're done here. Now we can take this time to go forward. Do we get to see the water ghost again? Nope, not here. Okay. Take the other path. That's somewhere in here. On the light, maybe? At the very top? Nothing? Yeah, I guess not. Oh, wait. We got one more. I noticed uh, there isn't much of a map. There we go. Yeah, it's very confusing down here if you cannot tell. There Another is talisman. Another talisman I was looking for. So this is where you break out your pad and paper and you start making your own map. Uh huh. There's a blood stain here to give you a little bit of a landmark so you can put that in your notes. We're gonna go straight from that blood stain. to see another blood stain. A place where there's that. We get that. This one isn't locked or blocked by anything, so we'll just hop on in here and it's another place where they probably have more horrifying shit. And there are experiment notes over here. And there's also another corpse. You don't need to see that. Why not? A gun. 70th, next experiment, Asura statue, male body, female head, success. Then, supernatural phenomenon, spirit, frequent, heart, continue experiments. Ooh. That don't sound good. Hmm. Hmm. 
uh, something down here too. <laughs> Another black notebook. Experimental unit correspondence code. Hmm, cryptograms. Cannon. Weapons code name. Beep 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 beep. Heavenly Buddha. Project's code name. Beep 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 beep. Soul human has used materials. Beep 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 beep. Ah, that's where you would learn it. Looks like a wabun code. So I guess Japanese mor uh, Morse code. And what's in there? Nothing. <clears throat> okay, fine. Yay! Oh, look at the corpse! Yeah, it's gore! Ooh. Yes! Yes! Uh, again. Oh, that's it. Spine just cut from the neck down. Just with the <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Let us... Ch check out my map here, because again, it's very confusing. A lot of similarities here, because we need to go to the right. Another door. But it's glowing? And it's gone. Oh wait, it's back. Hmm. So, he is, can't see it, but uh, I can. Ah, maybe that's the door behind the wall. It's the spiritual. Repose the spiritual with spiritual. If you touch it, with a tool that honors the gods. Blah, 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 blah. Touch with the tool that honors the gods. What do we got? We got... Nothing. The Kagura Suzu Bell. Oh, that's right. It's the priestess's tool. Men display spiritual power. It destroys. <laughs> Touch it silently. Hey! Mm, not yet. Pay no attention to my mutterings. Just enjoy the ride. Mm. Like I am. Mm. The disposal vats beyond this. Alright! Let's see how many corpses we've piled up in the past. Bad stuff is gonna happen. Cool, let's see it. Ooh. That's all the statues. Without their bodies. Disposal fat. I mean... Yeah, not really what I, it's, it's just a whole bunch of Buddha heads? Oh, you got a rusted army sword. Hmm. Is this is where they dump the Buddha statues then? Uh Who turned on the lights? Yeah, I do too. Feelings mutual. We can't leave. And locked inside. Oh no. Oh great! Alright! Oh, that's perfect! We're gonna drown. Well, live or die. Oh, it's freezing. Ah! 
That's some cold water. We'll probably die of drowning too. Well, hypothermia is worse. All right. So what do we do? 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 Uh, gotta, 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 okay. gotta, gotta, gotta remember. What was written in those documents about the disposal vat? Uh, just, just the Buddha heads. Well, that's all we got. What do we do? 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 Uh, uh, Eisenhower head. Diamond R hat. Damn it. Diamond. Diamond. Oh, thank God. And no, no! If you say so! Survived, but at what cost? No! It's clean water. Ah! Hi again. Are you the demon I'm here to exercise? Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Jesus. Did our brain get frozen? I gotta go back to the last show. Oh no, he's just got my car. Now we're gonna take him home and probably feed him. Oh really? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> we were a slim sickle. <laughs> I'm almost there. Blah. Just gotta wait until my other lung thaws. <clears throat> this is Banshee Ito. <laughs> he is a ghost. No, but you know what he is? He's a mark bearer. Of course. I got nowhere else to go. Also, what's this on my wrist? So, remember the last time that we saw this guy? Where we met him is the other end of where we're at right now. Right. So he didn't have a mark before, but now he does. Mm -hmm. He strayed too far. He stumbled upon things he probably should not have. You don't know a goddamn thing, do you? Banshee Ito, I guess. Terrible grudge, you say. Hmm. Tsukasa shows up again and starts meowing. <laughs> ah! Oh, no. Oh, no. 
cool. Yeah, something real bad's going on in there. Just the constant army chanting might be a hint. And oh, the ghost we totally saw right there. And the uh, ghost door that appeared. Maybe somebody hit a P switch. That's what happens in the ghost house. Of course. That's how we find the secret exit. Let's head to the Star World, baby! Whirlpools always have a center. We gotta find that. If you can't tell from the map I drew, it's a huge place. God damn. Birth of the Spirit, the Heart of the Curse. We gotta find the, the, the root of the problem and behead it like a Hydra. But like... The permanent beheading. Like, yeah, really bad. Like you put a big old cork in its neck hole. <laughs> so we can't do it. No more growing back! No! Okay. Home sweet home. Hero, I'm not saying I picked up a bum, but I picked up a bum. Ah. Ah, he gave me the key. Why do you have this? Thanks. So now we can head back to K what was it, K District? And head inside? Yeah, we can uh, pretty much do everything in the undergrounds now. We can explore the whole thing. Okay. What is that stench? <laughs> well, I mean, come on! He's not that bad. I know a suspicious old man when I see him, and he's too jovial to be suspicious. Look at him. He's got a constant smile. Nope. Of course I believe you. Why? I mean, why wouldn't I believe him? He gave me the key. It would be the biggest dick move if he actually took the key back. If he said, I don't know. <laughs> well, fine. I don't trust you either. Live or die. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, well, just go get something to eat. I mean, all we have is Chef Boy RD now, but. Oh. Well, there he goes. Man, he runs fast. And he's eating the rabbit. You think we should stop him, or, uh. Well. At least he cleaned it up. I didn't want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and a hobo. Haha. <laughs> I like that wording. To appease the starving banshee. Yes. Turns out he's actually 25. Oh. He eats a lot. You know you can trust him. I mean, what if he just had, like, you know, one sip of a noodle and was like, mmm, delicious. He'd be suspicious as fuck! It's where I live. He's a hobo. I mean, that's not pretty hard to construe. He's a professional hobo. He's not homeless, you know, because of circumstance. He's homeless by choice. He's good at it. He's basically just living off the grid in the city. Hmm. Six months ago? Some woman doused in perfume. Aha! That sounds like Zukawa to me! Mm hmm. That was a month ago, though. What else could be there? 
There are Stranger Things? Season 4. Ah. That's a new one. A walking Buddha statue? Yep. There it is. He's a mark bearer. The walking Buddha statue. The, the cannon soldier. Yep, the cannon soldier. Based upon the uh, Buddhist pantheon idolatry, I do believe. Again, more idol culture. <laughs> Interesting. They were going to send a giant Buddha statue to kill everyone. Yeah. I mean, I don't think uh, Japan really did anything like that, but... <laughs> they, they did some weird stuff, I'll tell you that much. Was that idea? Mm. Um, what else we got? Well, at least you got it memorized. So, what do you know about this thing? The Heavenly Buddha Project was a pen. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Huh. They wanted to infuse a soldier with the power of God. Imagine if the army had a bunker where they tried to put, you know, Moses in the power of a man and have him part the seas. Mess with the power of God, you get smote. Red bite like marks, huh? That sounds pretty death marky to me. That's lovely. Well, there's no reason not to believe him, right? <clears throat> so has the cannon soldier been down there this whole time? Or yeah. is he always oh, dormant? He's Oh, now he's moving. So just because the cannon soldier started moving again, the death mark showed up again. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Ah. So this is just a blood thing. A nice twist on the sins of the father trope. Which is bullshit, by the way. Ha <laughs> ha! Finally! But why? The shrine. Somebody use something to do something. Yep. Hmm. So it might not be that he's just being, you know, vague. He might he just literally might not remember. But if we stop the cannon soldier, then maybe we'll stop this whole thing. Good. Good. It seems to be the heart of the matter of a lot of things.
Ordinarily, nobody would survive this. Could it be that we're fucking bomb at being a paranormal detective? No, that can't be it. Well, we're gonna go investigate the soldier, obviously. I mean, all of, all of them lead to the same thing, but... Oh, okay. Because they're all related. Find the statues, we'll find the, we'll find the thing that stops the mark. We find about the project, we'll find about what may have caused the marks in the first place. And the soldier is connected to both those things, so... Find the soldier, stop the curse, figure out what the fuck went on down there. Get rich off the, off the novel. <clears throat> then a movie deal. And then become, you know, fade into obscurity. After the book bombs, and you know... And then show up as a neat cameo 20 years later and find new success. And then you make Death Mark off the record. <laughs> How would Frank West do this? He'd die immediately because he couldn't kill it. H Hanahiko starts coming his way, he just takes a golf club, ah! and he just dies. Well, he's gonna help us too, and we now have the power of three oh, mark bearers with us again. Okay. Yeah. I love how they give you space for f a fourth member, and so far we have not had a fourth member. That's to get you guessing. So next time on Death Mark, we're gonna stop the cannon soldier, and with hope and with luck, stop this whole Death Mark curse. See you next time.